<laughs> Gibby, what do you got for us? You could let's just let's be clear about this. <laughs> you lost a two thousand dollars. <laughs> Welcome back to Gus and Gorney. Uh, season three, episode one. Episode two. Episode two. But episode on the, one on was, the precipice of round one. Episode one was poorish. Well it's just, you know, I I feel like uh, the first episode we did was more just the, the foundation upon yep. which you build you know, this whole season, um, you can't build a season on Correct. just sand. You have to put a foundation down, and we did that, and here we go. I'm really excited for season three. Um, yeah, big, um, big season in the works. Big season in the works. Uh, we've got to start right off the top. Um, Let's do it. We tried to do the podcast yesterday, and we weren't allowed to. We had a good afternoon to do it. Um, Beautiful afternoon. And uh, unfortunately, the third member, Gibbo, who is here. Hello, Gibbo. Great to be here. Gibby. Gibby. Um, no way I'd rather be on a Sunday. Gibby was playing, <laughs> Gibby was playing cricket. Um, and we thought, okay, obviously it must be some sort of final if Gibby Has is to be. still playing cricket in March. Um, so, <laughs> we, so we let him play. And how'd you go, Gibby? We won team sport. Sure yep. won. Individual sport, I lost. And, and he, he, I got sent a, a, a tweet that you were six runs off 40-odd balls. 33. I actually should have been out for a golden duck. Opened up, nicked off first ball, given not out. Um, the opposition didn't love that. Uh, and then I just scrapped my way. We were only chasing 100 in a one-day game, so yep. they got two pretty good opening bowlers and sort of saw them off and then I... Got so why didn't you walk? Change. Why didn't you walk? Would you have walked? 100%. You sneak you? off. First Mate, ball the game the is final. steepled in history and every, Adam Gilchrist walked. If, Adam, if it's good enough for Adam Gilchrist, mate... Stuart Broad did it. <laughs> yeah, well, who, who would you rather be like? Gilchrist or Broad? I'll take the six instead of the golden duck. Coward. <laughs> um, did, um, did, just out of curiosity, uh, do people know you out there? Uh, yeah, there's an opposition Yeah is there a bit yeah. of like Gibby They call you Gibby They don't call me Gibby Oh only the bloke that Listened to the podcast A few weeks ago Yeah Did they say I hope your grandma's watching yeah, they no, have I hope none of Gibby's lines. watching I think that grandmas are off limits I think there's a line <laughs> yeah, in cricket okay. And uh, <laughs> gee you can't talk Can't talk about grandma Speaking of cricket uh, Warren and uh, Marsh It's a sad Since we it last sad, spoke yep. um, We've got to pay our respects Obviously to Warren couple is of well and truly in our, in our era In terms of watching cricket um, maybe the back end, I dare say. I, I yep. don't remember too much from his, his debut apart from watching highlights of that miracle ball. Um, so, and Gibby, obviously, uh, you can uh, come in and whenever, whenever you want here, but um, he's, he, he literally defines Victoria in my eyes. Like, he is Victoria. Warren is like our most famous person ever to come from Victoria. And that was, um, it was a weird morning. Yeah, well, and off the back of, of Marsh, who I'm sure you would as a cricketing purist, Gibbo, even though you didn't walk, you still appreciate the game. And... Um, yeah, just crazy. Uh, it's just, I think, a sharp reminder of you know how lucky we are to be, um, you know, playing the sport we love. It's crazy how it sort of happened, bang bang, like so out of the blue. Have you met him? Has anyone met him? I bumped into him at a Taco Bill once, yeah. and he sort of knows um, un- my uncle and grandfather, and sort of st- I was there with sticks, and he sort of said g'day, and I was like, oh yeah, hey Shane, how you going? And pretty low key, but um, I um I met him, and I have a photo, and I was going to post it. But it was at a night with Novak. So, I'd, I'd, uh, so it was me, him, and Novak. And I'm not sure how well received the Novak photo would have been. Sorry, it was the headline was Novak, Warren, Gorn. That was the three of us here. I don't understand how the, the king of cricket and Mr. Worldwide Shane Warren, Novak Djokovic, the most famous person probably in the world currently, and myself were in a photo. And I don't know where the hierarchy goes in that photo. As when well. was that? It was in Melbourne, so technically, am How I? How long ago? I'm I'm higher than Novak. You're I think. Than Novak. <laughs> How long ago? That was um, I reckon about three years ago. So wow, you really were out of your depth there. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was um, I was able to have a hit with Novak, and I um, get out of town. And I and I faced Shane Warne one ball. Are you with you a go? tennis racket? You taking the yeah? He bowled turn? one, and I hit it with a tennis racket. Wow. That's still Does he still have it? I mean, did he still yeah, have it then? Yeah, he did. Wow. Yeah. Nah, well, that was a sad day, speaking of cricket. So our respects uh, out to the Warren and Marsh family. Um, I'll tell you what else was a, a sad day. It was um, Friday morning post-losing to Carlton. Um, obviously a practice match. Uh, we, we don't want to ever um, say it wasn't or say it is. or um, I don't really know what I'm talking about. But That's all right. You keep going. Keep playing through it. Uh, we lost this game last year to Western Bulldogs by correct sixty, seven goals, something like that. Yeah, so um, I feel like there's a lot of learnings we can take from it. Um, Absolutely, there's one clear one: the fifty meter penalties. It's been touched on, and I just want to say from the start, like I was involved, 
I understand the message that's trying to come across. Obviously, um, in my football throughout my whole career since under nines, I've grown up with potentially um, disagreeing with um, decisions and I agree that it probably has to stop. Not probably, it has to stop. And um, it's going to be hard at the top level with 80,000 watching in a hot game to turn it off completely, but I'll go out there and try and try and set an example because you need more umpires and it's not a great look on TV. That's what I was doing yesterday. I just accepted the umpire's call. Oh, <laughs> Benny Gibson, that's a great way to look at it, mate. Pr- proud of you for uh, <laughs> respecting the game. Do you have um? Do you have any takes on that carving game? Uh, you went I, back. I went back, played yeah. back, um, and loved it. I love playing in the men's department. Is it a compliment to you that... Like the whole Angus Brayshaw goes midfield to wing because he's the only one who can play wing out of those midfield bulls or do you feel like that's an insult saying you're not as good as the midfield bulls so you go out in the wing? Which way do you take it? Well, Are you going to half back because you're the next person who we think can play half back? Yeah, I... I but does geez. that mean you're not that good at wing? I probably have, I probably have no choice other than to view it positively, yeah. do, I, <laughs> do I? If I'm... Uh, They're if not it, seeing, seeing But if they go Lang, Langdon v Brayshaw, <laughs> uh, we'll probably lose less if we get rid of Gus. Is that, is that how they look at it? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, gee, it's, 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 that's a grim outlook it, to have it the other way. So I'm going to say that it's a positive <laughs> yeah. and um, being able to play multiple roles for the team is, yep. a, is a positive. Yep. And oh, look, I'm not trying to say that I'm a better winger than our, the president of our wingers club or you know, I'm a better inside mid than Clayton Oliver and Christian Matraka or a better halfbacker than Michael Hibbert or, or a better Jack. ruckman. Oh, mate, I don't know. If I went... Th- I wonder if I'd... I probably wouldn't be the ruckman next yep. up, but... Um, you I'd played just, every position on the ground? Obviously yeah, not yeah, yeah. as a key defender, but you played defender and then yep. not as a key forward, but you have played I played forward. forward. I played every single position. Apart from ruck. I reckon I rucked once against Quinton Lynch in my first year and he <laughs> elbowed me in the head and I was I was like, gee, I'm never rucking this again. This isn't for me? Not for me. Okay. And in fact, I might have done it in the... It could have been in um, the under-18s AIS game against Collingwood VFL. Yep. It could be it. It was on the MCG and Quinton Lynch got a hold of me. No surprise there. The big fella. <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm looking at uh, which leads me. Um, that's good. We've we've done enough, Carlton. Did you have any more nah. you wanted to touch on, Carlton? Um, oh, Paddy Cripps, amazing effort, great comeback. Probably uh, helps without a spinal fusion or whatever the hell he had last year. On touches, um, that was good. And my boy Strength it was good to come up against Strength again in Mark Pitnet. Um, let's just it's quickly probably, hey, quickly talk. We'll talk about you. And um, I've had numerous amount of tweets. Did I'm he? not sure if you've had heaps. And I no 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 you okay and. I wouldn't be a good journalist uh-huh. if I didn't ask this question because I feel like it has to be asked. And, and you, you are have, a good journalist. And yeah, me and Gibby are both good journalists. And we've got, you've got the platform. Sure. Are you going to Fremantle? Well, would you have asked that, Gibby, speaking of good journalists? <laughs> Do you have, have that down in your segment? <laughs> I, I wouldn't have because it would have probably jeopardised my contract at the club. <laughs> but Max can. Are you going to Fremantle? Well, uh, speaking of good journalism. I've got one more question after you answer sure. Speaking of good journalism, I've been uh, reportedly going there for the last... Six years, yep. so then the stories always pop up, and um, there's this photo that's been circulating for about five of those years. Where since my Andrew's been there, they've cropped my head onto his body because it's a natural fit, and um, that's been circulating a bit. But no, probably not. Second question: Are you going to West Coast? <laughs> I think, and it's you know. We, are, we say we, we proclaim to be a one-take podcast yeah. and if I cross any lines here, then I'm sure I'll be able to... Oh, please let me let this question stay in. <laughs> um, I would rather eat a steaming plate of moan. <laughs> <laughs> so more chance to go to Fremantle. Well, okay, so Frio chance, <laughs> uh, West yeah. Coast not a chance. Nah, it's, um, I'll write that down. It's crazy. I think yeah. um, that stuff will dry up pretty quickly once we start playing footy and the rest will take care of itself. Okay. Do you want me to reel out a few cliches? Two hot contracts, Jackson and Brayshaw. It's all, I hit, all I'm hearing about, so um, well, I'm excited for the day it comes. Well, hey. And we will celebrate it on the podcast. <laughs> well, maybe I'll break it first. Could I break it here? Just sort of getting in my territory there, but yeah. Okay. Well, well yeah. you certainly don't well, break you, it first. So. I broke one last year. <laughs> Which one was Which that? One? Clayton Le- Oliver. Wasn't it Lever? It was I think you one. broke Lever. Uh, you broke, who broke Benjamin Brown? Uh, ooh, can't remember. Anyway. Okay. Great question, You're done. Max. You're hey, done. Great, great journalism. Thank you. Um, let's go quickly to my week. Sure. Back on me. Um, I had Captain's Day. Which we got a lot of material out of last year. How's our man? Uh, big harvest. A harvest. <laughs> we didn't get talking harvest. Harvest was pretty serious this year. Um, <laughs> he did make one one quote. Uh, we're talking about like work life balance. Sure. Um, and he's Hawthorne do a really good thing where they in, introduce like part time work um, and make it mandatory for a few people to go out there and try different things. 
um, and being bigger than any of the harvest goes. Oh, obviously, apart from me, because I'm I'm in I'm in the harvest season, which I found quite funny. So do they give him like a month off? Yeah, they must give him. And he just takes and off. It's been a big harvest, hasn't it? Oh, so it would have yeah. been three months. Yeah, probably. Um, so I, I love. I so love, what did you talk about? If I not love the big boy. Actually, me and Pendles talked a little bit. And how how was that? Uh, we talked about footy. Yeah. Um, let's just pause for a bit. Yeah, come in. Just sit there. Sit there and watch Poetry in Motion. Oh, we'll be, we'll be yeah, yeah, sit there and watch. That's how guests walked in. Um, he'll be on after Gibby. We got Gibby first. Uh, but I do want to talk about one thing. Sure. Um, Gil McLaughlin addressed the group, uh, and it was obviously the 10 captain, the 10 Victorian captains, um, and he was talking about a story that happened in Perth. Have you heard this? No, I could have. So the night after the grand final... Um, so the s- no, that was the Wednesday night. I'll ask you about that. Um, was so it was, Michael Hibbard? No, it was the Monday night. Sorry, so, sure. so two nights after the grand final. I walk into the casino at about 2 a.m. and there's Gil with 20,000 worth of chips in front of him on a blackjack table. I'm like, geez, Gil's going well. <laughs> but he's there, like, I think he's there by himself. Anyway, I sit like four tables from him and... Uh, I sort of we waved to him. There's a bit, there's a few people there. It's so he's away. telling this story. Yeah, he's telling this story. About the other captains, wow. and he goes, he gave me a, like he gave the the uh, the waiter, I presume, yeah, to give me a chip, and I got the chip. I gave him the chip back and said, I don't need a chip. And then I brought him a bottle of champagne and a nice bottle. I'd forget what it was. But it was about two hundred buck bottle. Brought him the bottle of champagne, and then you could hear him saying, Oh, who's this from? And then as he said that, I didn't turn around. My back was to him. I just put my hand up. And he goes, thanks, Maxie. And there was a crowd of about 100 people watching. Um, and he told that story in front of all the captains. And did they love it? I don't know. Most people get quite jealous in that sort of scenario that there wasn't. There I'm, surprised the that, um, I'm surprised that he even was speaking to you. If you remember, there was a line ball call between some higher ups in our club who wanted him to come on our podcast in grand final week. And, I and we gave him the raspberry sauce oh, yes. for Sun Ling. Yeah. So I'm surprised that he's friendly with you still. And he also, I mean, it was leaked, but... Apparently didn't like me and Goody at the pub. Oh. So anyway, um, we'll, leave, the old, the we'll, we'll leave that there. You had a big week as well. You're Did on, I? You're on, the, you're on a rival podcast. I was. And I'll tell you what, um, I think we've got some room to grow in terms of – I've never spoken to many as many people. In, like I've had 50 conversations this week about my special skill. We need something like that, but we can't copy it, obviously. No. We can't plagiarise their obviously stuff. obviously copy a lot of their stuff. Yeah. But we can't maybe um, we'll explicitly – Yeah, we can't <laughs> What plagiarize. is your special skill that you're trying to do? Um, it's, I pour red wine to the same level all the time. Yep. And it just, just happens, and it's spooky. And I had – over the off-season um, – I was talking to, I think it was with Andrew, my younger brother, who's a big listener of their podcast. And uh, he said something like, oh, you know, special skill, you should send that to Hamish Nandy. And Hamish is a friend of ours, friend of the podcast, friend of ours. And I sent it to him and I was like, I've got a special skill. And one thing led to another. And I'm going in tomorrow to do it. That's exciting. So, I mean, there's like a, they've got a coin system. Do you, yeah. I mean, I don't listen, you're a listener. You can get a gold coin. Or if something. you do it, you get a coin. Yep. Uh, and if you don't do it, you get a token. This is kind of cool because on their episode, Hamish listened to Gus and Gorney, but Andy didn't. So now it's like you don't listen to Hamish and Andy, but I do. Yeah, I mean, um, I have to say, and I have to say happy birthday to Andy. Yeah, there's, there's a whole lot of stuff things. that there's I don't understand. Things. So I'm going in tomorrow. It's going to be fun. Um, That's enough air time for them. Sure. Uh, let's bring in Gibby. Uh, I wanted to start with. Actually. You've been in here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talk now. Not necessarily news, but just my opportunity to put it back on news. So obviously, a big tweet. Oh, sorry. Semi, yeah, I've got this semi viral. Bang. The spelling of potato. Um, and it's hard when I'm not sitting here next to you because. That's a hard We word. can do it in. Mm, we because can do if it you, mm. If you spell it as a plural, there's an E. Yeah? Okay. You get what I mean? So technically. The yeah, but the plural of focus is foci. And it just that, that's fine. So what is the plural of focus? <laughs> foci. That is not a word. Do you want to make a bet? <laughs> No one we need. Yeah, but I'm just saying, just because it's the plural of something. And why do you ever want a plural focus? Uh, well, what happens if we have a couple of foci going into a game of football? <laughs> what you've never heard of that? Isn't it focuses? You want to make how much? You want to make a bet? Anyway, love the love the game, not the odds. But yeah, um, the I'll put an e on potato. Okay. Would you spell? Okay. okay. So it's e- what I would say. It's what easy. does tomato have? Does tomato have an e? Single tomato. Yeah, no. that's an O as well. That's, just that's one. the same. Plural O E S. Yes, plural the same. Um, it's easy. So 
a great example. Easy for me to correct to you, uh, but when you're given free range on Twitter, yeah, I feel like I'm used, I should send you all tweets. Yeah, I reckon from here on in. But and it went a little but bit. It viral, probably didn't it? it probably helped the strength of the tweet because it got a bit more traction than it would have. It did, and it's a, and to be fair, it's a great conversation. Are you well, a potato cake or a dim sim? Did you say potato cake on purpose, or is that like a? I think I'm a potato cake guy. Yeah, I, I love. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a potato cake man. Yeah, potato cake. Wow, everyone, the whole world came against me and said Dim Sims. But yeah, I'm not sure about that. So you've got 1,400 likes, yeah. 82 retweets, and 321 comments. On I wonder. Yeah, <laughs> and one spelling mistake, which <laughs> I went with. That was my <laughs> that, that was, was my caption. Social media manager, but um, no, thanks, Gibby. No such thing as bad publicity, really. No, there is. Well, so. hmm. <laughs> Anyway, we'll talk docos. They came out during the week. Oh, yeah. Both appeared a little bit. Fox footy released one, AFL released one. There's also one coming out Tuesday night. Sound the alarm on AFL. About 36 minutes of goodie mic'd up during the grand oh. final. So that's a good insight. But you guys have had to do a lot of interviews. Do you find yourself reeling off the same things? I, um, I love, like, every other club's won a flag. And Except the, for Freo Sorry And the Doco is Gold grand, And Gold Coast And Grand Final day. Like I, I, I can picture the Richmond guys I didn't watch it But the yeah. Richmond Like they have six guys And they talk through the Grand Final Yep Like that's most teams Doco Ours is like the last 60 years <laughs> It has to cover like the last 60 years For some reason We can't just focus on Grand Final today Which I, I, I really liked both But I like the AFL one more Because that one was focused A little bit more on Grand yeah. Final day And seen some cool things I didn't know Goody and Kate Roffey's Little embrace at the end of a game and yours and Goody's uh, embrace at the end of the game. Yours is Jack Viney who's sitting in the corner. Um, so I, I kind of enjoyed both for different reasons. Then I also completely forgot about um, what he, I, I've never forgotten about Jim Stein's walking across the mark and uh, the merger. But you, like to get that refreshed is is kind of cool. Yeah, I certainly sitting. Yeah, you know, in isolation, you probably know a bit about all those things. But in one continuous sitting where it's just bang, bang, bang. Here's the history. I thought it was. Um, I thought both were incredible. Yeah. I agree with Max, though. I like yeah. the game one. To answer your question, yes, we repeated ourselves yeah. a hell of a lot over the last six months, but it's a happy story. Yeah. I love repeating it. I'll talk about it again if you want to. We can. Maybe another time. Okay. <laughs> the other really important issue is rival podcasts. So, obviously, Gus and Gorn is into season three. We're going to look at Essendon to start with. Okay. So, Rish and Surely, Rath. surely what are they, they've, they've got Rish, someone good. Rish and Rath. So that's Harish and McGrath. No, 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 no. It's let me just because I must have misheard. It's not called Rish and Wrath. Correct. Well, we're called Gus and Gorn. Yeah, but it's not Ars and Orny. Is is it? I mean, come on, am I missing something? That's their nicknames, Rish and Wrath. Oh, gee. Okay. Not sure about one. They've just started. Yeah, just started. That's exciting. I'll give them Mark and Melissa. There's also so. <laughs> what about um old bull young buck? Old bull young buck still West, going. That's West a, Coast. That, that's Very a stalwart now, surely. There's one called on and off, and I think Josh Dunkley and Adam Trawl have actually gone rogue and not doing it with the bulldogs. We've been threatening that for a long time. You have been. Yep. And so they're yeah they're, they're three episodes in. Steph Martin was on that recently. So ah Steph Martin. Um, I think we would we certainly have to if not. The first one of the first pioneers in this well, the pioneers, football but space. It's very quickly for the pioneer to get overtaken. So we have to stay on top of our game is what Gibbo is saying. That's is right that what right. you're saying? That's what I'm alluding to. There's sure. competition. Yeah, there's competition but for spots. I think Ruth and Rath aren't you know, troubling the scorers too hard. <laughs> They've only just started. Uh, all power to them. I think uh, I was saying this to Hamish and Andy the other day when I was on their, their podcast. I was like, I'm surprised. Jeez, how long actually. were we on for? I was like, I'm surprised, I'm surprised you, you know, having me on a bit of rival podcast. And Hamish said, I'm paraphrasing, uh, a rising tide lifts all boats. So the more podcast <laughs> listeners, we all, you know, all get the benefits. So you have a whole segment. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, I did. One thing, we were talking last podcast about the segments that didn't carry on. Yep. One of them was our selection. You were going to every week name your ins and outs. <laughs> It uh, became a bit of an issue when you had to actually drop some teammates. Yeah, sure. Uh, where this one's easy. This one's easier because we know that Riv and Petty won't play from the grand final side. Yep. So I want you to give us two wins. So possible. Riv and Petty are out, which means we're calling in defenders. Um, no. I, yeah. I know you can go back. Unless Gus goes back. and Not necessarily. Yeah, well, I mean, that's uh, uh, let, let, let's think outside of the box a little bit potentially as well. I'm saying Hunty plays. Okay. And I don't know who the other defender will be at this stage. But you're, that's what you're asking me. You're asking me for I'm a name. I'm asking you for a name. I'll I think it's Joel Smith and Smith Hunt. Tomlinson. So you're going with Smith Hunt? I'll go with Tomlinson Hunt. Okay. Do you, have, you, a, do you have an opinion? Uh, I'm going to be crossing some lines. 
we, we, we cross lines the whole way. Yeah, okay. I mean, this is the first time I've to the podcast. That's great. Uh, he's coming in with some jokes already, guys. <laughs> great <laughs> stuff. We get a live view. Yeah. Anyway. Well, uh, and then the rest is the grand final team. In well, my potentially. Opinion. Could, maybe, weeds, maybe weed slips in there. I'd like to see him in. Um, are you a groomsman yet? Do you know? I don't think I'm going to be a groomsman, but that's okay. He hasn't asked yet? No. Okay. That's Ooh, geez, wow. Apparently, us talking about the wedding let someone know in your friends group that they weren't invited because <laughs> they hadn't got an invite yet. So, that guy, what's his name? Dan. Dan, sorry, mate. Sounds like an ultimate betrayal. You might, be a, chance, you might be a chance if someone called, pulls out late. There's always another wedding invite. Speaking of ultimate betrayals, uh, Jake Lever. Do you oh. remember this? <laughs> no, because we can't talk about it. I know. The biscuit company we can't talk about yeah. has formed a an alliance with a, a player that a, we can't talk about. A half alliance with a player who tried his damnedest to kill this podcast in its <laughs> second week, and that's on my watch list. All right, let's that's put it on the watch. There. That's on the watch. Without saying any more, I saw right. an Instagram story and nearly spewed my guts up, and um, that's now on the watch list for everyone at home as well. Anything else? Last thing, just for fans, obviously countdowns on for the game Wednesday night. Tickets are a bit different now. Mobile memberships are in use, so the fans have to download the Melbourne app. Mm. There's all the information on the website. So 72 hours in advance, they can select the game they want to go to and the ticket will rock up on their phone. Scan in. How easy is that? They get a scarf when they rock up? They'll get a scarf, yep. Beautiful. Melbourne home game? Melbourne home game. How many would think them? 70 would be nice. 90. Don't be peasant. Reach for the stars. It starts with a nine. It's my favourite. That's my favourite number. All right. Thanks, Gibby. We'll be back after the break. Now, Gus, we all know the team at Zurich Insurance are proud sponsors of the Gus and Gorney podcast. Yes, absolutely. Huge supporters of the pod. I think they were our first sponsor and certainly our first platinum partner, which is a huge result. Yes, and they've also been on board as a co-principal partner of the club since 2018 and have been protecting Australia for over 100 years. That's right. They provide insurance for individuals and families, plus businesses large and small. Now, Gussie, we know you're a big fan of protection, rocking your helmet at every chance you get, so this is very on brand for you. You're absolutely right. To see how Zurich can support you, head to zurich.com.au or contact your financial advisor or broker. Welcome back to Gus and Gorney. Uh, obviously, uh, we've got to thank our sponsors in this little space, Gus. Uh, and we do have a main main one. Platinum. That, that we love is Platinum. Um, I, don't think it, I don't think it's necessarily a he. Um, could be a lot of people, but... Um, I think it is. <laughs> Having but, never been there. But it's Zurich? Yep. Um, hey, if you need insurance... Yep. They I don't know. The best insurance. I don't know why you wouldn't be with Zurich already, but get yourself down there. And then, of course, you know, where do we start set on the second Well, we've tier? got a potential to platinum. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go too far into this space, but it's a watch this space with the Sporting Globe. Okay. And we all love the Sporting Globe. They're a great pub. Uh, Richmond, Morty Alec, Geelong. Uh, there's one out in Knox, is my gut feel. Sure. Um... So the Sporting Globe, and then obviously BFI, got, yeah. uh, Bailey Fitch Lodge School, uh, Squash, uh, gee, Squash uh, Fat Nut Customs, um, Barbie Onions is doing, I, I checked in with the um, CEO there, they're doing a top-down Melbourne 2020 style uh, internal review and have put their sponsorship on hold, but um, watch that space, we've got obviously the um, East End Wine Bar, yep. um, Olive Unlock. And unfortunately no longer... Uh, Aaron Vandenberg's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Process. BSI out. So, um, look, we're, we're, the, the cup runneth over. Yep. Um, so, with that in mind, uh, we'll let go off the top there. We've got a new, our guest, Jack Viney. Welcome, Jack. Yes, Gus. Thanks, Corey. Thanks for having me on. How come, uh, not sure you weren't here at the start, um, you actually got here late. Uh, we said it's season three and you haven't been on. No? We I feel like we've been knocking. Nah. Nah. This is the first of. Uh, <laughs> First invitation I've had for three years. Is that right? I told you to invite him uh, last year. I was extremely reluctant to come on. <laughs> mm. Well, now that you're here, do you have? A, are you a small business owner? Do you have any potential sponsorships or no? Oh, your old man. <laughs> it, your old man owns a farm. It, it sounds like all of your sponsors are just the club sponsors. No, nah, that's not true. What about um, Fat Nut Customs? Bailey if you buy 20 fat nuts, you get 5% off your 21st fat nut. <laughs> you can't get those deals anywhere that's, else. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a good deal. So uh, your old man owns a farm. Does he yeah. sell it? We can uh, help him out. Yeah, if you want, you want some meat. Off the top, you were here for the doco chat. Um, you were very prominent in the docos. Um, how was it doing it with Todd when Big Todd uh, started to have a couple of tears? Waterworks <laughs> started. It was, it was surprising, uh, really surprising, because he's not an overly emotional um, human I, I could count on, on one hand The amount of times I've seen him um, Shed a tear So For him to get emotional In a um, You know A media setting 
uh, was quite surprised. Took me by surprise. Did he cry in the initial FaceTime post game? Uh, not sure. Couldn't really tell. Like it was kind of grainy, and I had like you know two or three people up on the FaceTime at the same time, so the yep. image was was small, pixelated. But I'm sure he had had a tear in there. Now he's he's long gone in terms of like was it 2018 last year? 2019, maybe. Does he cl- does he claim any of it? Yeah, all of it. Oh, he does. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Well, he was like, the list manager. <laughs> he, he built the list. Yeah, yeah. but he, he picked uh, Dimitri Tumpus, who's, who's a great friend of mine. I love, I love Tump, but he did pick him. Yeah, yeah. He also picked pretty much everyone else. Yeah. Or so, uh, Jace Taylor. Uh, yeah, a bit with, of a with, 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 uh, with the Tom. help of others, of course. Yeah. Um, no, nah, but you know, you know, seriousness. Uh, he's, he's wrapped with with how the club um, went last year. Obviously, he wasn't part of it um, internally, but. For and he's been at the free club for roughly thirty years in total, so um, obviously bleeds red and blue, and was wrapped to see us kind of get get the job done last year. Mm. Was there a was there a chance when you're growing up? You say he's been here for thirty years. Were you a chance to go support Adelaide or Hawthorne when he was there? Uh, oh, did we almost lose you? I never I never jumped to Adelaide when he was at Crows. Um, when I was about twelve, and, and Dave went to Hawks. Um, in 2004 Yeah I may have had a Hawks jumper okay. In the closet um, And then they won the flag in 08 So You do realise we had that 08 I was fully on board the yeah, Hawks right. bandwagon um, But then yeah obviously I was, I was looking at getting drafted in the days And slowly started to put the Hawks jumper back think in the, there the life of an assistant coach's son Like Goody we talked about this with mm-hmm. him on the podcast last year. Goody's a 300-game Hall of Famer, two flags, best and fairest at Crows, and Eddie goes from Melbourne. Yeah. Like, yeah, wow. So Todd, he's a real-life version where he doesn't even know where he's from. We do country v city, and Jack <laughs> doesn't even know where he's from. Is he South Australian or Chuka, or is he from Melbourne? I'm no from one knows. <laughs> Who um, did you play for? Did you lots like- of places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, fair enough. As soon as, as, soon as Dad finished football, he, he moved this around a bit, but... Uh, City slicker at heart, I would have thought. Nah, country man. Really? Country man. Yeah. Who's, what cricket team did you apply for? I never played cricket. No, no, sport. on our city versus cricket. Oh, right, country. I wanted to be on the country team. And did you get Although when I got picked on neither, I'd stop giving, <laughs> <laughs> I stopped giving a shit. <laughs> oh, wow. Brilliant. Yeah, um, so you've had that. Uh, and Vines, we've been playing together for nearly eight years now, and this is the first preseason I've seen you actually complete. So Flying. Flying. How, um, how's your foot? How's all the injury stuff going? And uh, you look a million bucks out there. So what's, what's oh, changed? Uh, the foot's good. The foot's feet are um, travelling well and was able to complete um, pretty much majority, well, all of the preseason. Missed a um, session or two here or there, but um, certainly in the last four or five years, it's most I've completed and feeling you know healthy and... Um, What's yeah, changed? Uh, my plantar fascias have decided to hold up. That's essentially what's uh, what's changed. You can't operate on, on too much more in my feet, but um, yeah, just uh, feeling healthy and was able to, lucky enough to complete the majority of the, the preseason. So With that consistency of training, the block of training, you just kind of get better and better and um, yeah, feeling happy and healthy and looking forward to jumping in round one. The midfield... When it was you two, track Clary and myself, so mm. all the five guys sort of rotating through. We all used to be the same runner, to an extent. Mm. You were at the front of that five, yeah, and track was at the back of that five. But we were all similar runners. Clary was at the back until the last lap. Somehow, somehow you, I'll park you because you've got him better. But somehow he has just become an elite <laughs> runner. Yeah, I've and, noticed. And now it's just me and track just chilling by ourselves at the back. No I've, one else I've is had, there anymore. I've had to be very patient over the years because I've been put... It's been a slow burn. I've been put in these the running capacity of track and Clary and, and Gorney <laughs> and I'm knowing that, no, I don't belong here. <laughs> so I've just had to bite my, bite my tongue and wait for wait till I can actually train and actually... Yeah, wow. You that, when you put it like that... I remember that we were very much like a, a clump at, mm. when it came to time trials and things. Hundred like that hundreds day, remember yeah, me? You yeah, were close. Yeah. Jeez, I've tried to repress that day. <laughs> you give me flashbacks, but it's good Why to see you up and going. You do it every Christmas. Yeah, no, that stupid day we did it with Burjo, and um, then we went down to the beach and we added some one k. Rassled on the beach, yeah, that was stupid. yeah, the one k's were killer. Um, yeah, so you're also um, 
the Jack Viney that I know training, you, you, you tend to used to always, always have one day on, one day off. Now that's completely gone yep. and it's worked for you. So it's like more time on track has helped your body almost heal better and now you're absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, just being able to consistently train and do those extra craft sessions. Um, you know, in the past, everything was just geared around, we'll just scrap everything, try and get some main training in and then play. And um, what I found gradually over time, my performances would just get worse and worse. Um, so be able to like build that consistency of training, that resilience in my body back up again, um, which, you know, Berjo spoke a lot about last year. Um, friend of the podcast. Friend of the podcast. And, you know, Selwyn's carried in as trying to get our bodies resilient to, to training. And um, I found, my, you know, being able to train consistently is just, um, it's just helped and, and helped me get stronger. Not a friend of the Not podcast. Not a friend. So no one. <laughs> doesn't want to come on. No, well, we haven't it. asked. Haven't actually, asked yet. Yeah. There's a long list, mines. So, um, you know, supply and demand. Um. Family. Let's talk family. Yeah. Um, beautiful daughter, Miller. Mm-hmm. Uh, and obviously, Charlotte. Um, how do you balance your gaming? That's with, what I was going to ask. With, That's what I ta- like It's know. taken a serious hit. Has it? It's taken a serious hit because... The only time I really get to game these days is when Miller's asleep, mm, okay. um, which is around 7 30, 8 o'clock. And by then I'm pretty I'm pretty exhausted. Yep. Um, so I jump on and within an hour I'm kind of ready to hit the hay. So at times I don't even game anymore. I heard uh, a story. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even call it a hobby. I it heard is, a story. It's, it's I heard a story. And it, it might be truth. It might be. Um, Let's just say it was from a Listen. guy named uh, initials J Lee, but no, that's too obvious. <laughs> Jake L. Okay. Um, and he said that there was a time where you was asked to look after Miller for Charlotte. She was going for a walk and she came back and you were gaming and Miller was bawling her eyes out in a different room. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is garbage. Damn it. I wanted that this to be true no. so bad. No, there's, time, there's times Charlotte would be like, all right, I'll, uh, I'm going out. You're looking after Miller for a couple of days. Yeah. And she'll come sure. home. And I'll have Miller. Just a couple of days, eh? Uh, a couple, yeah. of, a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> See you, mate. Charlotte's a great mum. I'm telling you. <laughs> um, and I, and Charlotte will come home, and Miller's in my lap, and I'm on the computer, just like playing around. She's smacking on the keyboard. She's Multitasking. Like, yeah, exactly. Multitasking. So I'm just, but she's never been crying in a, in a, in a No, way. no, I've never, I've never let her. Okay, I'll sh- talk to her. Chill um, by herself. Yeah, well, J, uh, Jake L about that. Yeah, that's some false, Obviously false info. False. Gorn tax, maybe. Maybe oh, a little bit Gorn tax. Um, another one of your hobbies. Pokemon. Yeah. Um, do you actually have like an original set? Nah. They're got minted. Of, I got if you've an original the, uh, set, that's millions. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be playing footy if I had an original yeah, set. Is, yeah. that, is that actual? Yeah, you yeah, wouldn't yeah, be playing yeah. footy? Like a, I think it's like a Charizard, oh. Charizard yeah, card's think, worth a million bucks US if you got one re- at the highest grade. Yeah. Oh, I, they're pretty I, ha- I would have had one. Well, at some point. Well, you would have had one. You've set yeah. fire to a million bucks. Where is it? <laughs> What's it doing? What about, I've still got a Dragon Ball Z disc. Are they worth anything? Get out of here. <laughs> I've got a Goku right. Fluoro one. No, nah, mate. No good. That's not worth the cardboard it's worth printed on. Bit, um, no, no original ones. I, I bought a couple like recently just to kind of like Run the relive that nostalgia. What, uh, which ones? Pokemon. Yeah, no, which Pokemon? Um, I like, I know they're like all kind of the new ones, but they... They do them in new sets. New so ones like, stink. They just kind of like redo them. So no Snorlax or no, no, no. The yeah. new ones, yeah. Like you get, you can get those. Okay. Like recently, but obviously because they're new, they're not worth yeah. Yeah. anything. The old the ones original the ones because there's, yeah. there's no they don't make any of more of them. That's kind of what what's your favorite thing over time that's involved Pokemon. Mine's Pokemon Stadium, the sixty four game. That's yeah. huge. That was, that Pokemon Go ultimate. probably made it real for me. Yeah. Pokemon Go. You still uh, Pokemon Go? We 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 a little uh, bit. We kept no, it going no, for yeah. ages. We did. We were, we were jamming. It for you a you bit. capture the Pokemon around the street, don't you? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. And here, there's a lot out of Casey. Yeah. Say, say what you want thing. about Casey, but there's yeah. a lot of goddamn Pokemon out here. Well, no one's come out here and got them. Well, that's a, that's the whole Is thing. That how it works? Nah. I think it's like an algorithm that generates where they pop up. Yeah. It's not like like one person catches it and goes away. Yeah. It's like. Everyone has the opportunity to catch that. And what's Pokemon. the best one to catch? In Pokemon Go or... Oh, shit. I don't know. Mewtwo? Probably. Mewtwo is like goated. Yeah. yeah. I don't have one. Do you have a Mewtwo? No. no. I've got some good yeah. stuff. Don't have a Mewtwo. Okay. Jesse Hogan. Uh, I don't know. He's probably not a listener, but he's the, the greatest trainer I've ever seen. And um, <laughs> I think he's got like 10 of them. Do <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> so yeah, you still play? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I still play the, like the Game Boy games. Like the... Like it's on a Switch, Nintendo Switch now, but I jam those a fair bit. Jam. Does Miller? 
Uh, yeah. A bit of father-daughter bonding? Yeah. Does yeah. she ever stuff with your Pokemon? And you, that's that's when she gets in trouble? Oh, she's a bit young to like know uh, what she's okay, pushing, sure. but I always get a bit worried like she's going <laughs> to exit my game or something and delete all my delete my save. Oh, oh that, that would be, that would be, that would be horrible. Yeah. Nah, she'd, she'd be in the bed. Um, she'd be in the kennel. Now, one, one other thing. <laughs> Jesus. One other thing you, you're very well known for around the, around the club is um, you pick great endorsements. <laughs> um, I think you have a great taste on the endorsements you tend to go well, with. Well, so do we, like podcast, <laughs> like yeah. podcast E. I'd love to know how the FPOS on the ring's going. Do you, oh, do you, do the, you the, uh, the Bank it? West. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, I don't use that. Um, and what else we got for also, uh, do you still talk to Phil Davis? No. Oh, that was things probably... Got, things got awkward in the, um, the, <laughs> the showers. The shower, shower scene. <laughs> and we haven't talked since. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's the only thing I wanted to clear up. What no. was that for? Not wasn't for soap or anything like that. Uh, Reese Plumbing. Sure. Yeah, right. Yeah, but the it, next it was with guess. like a 24, which was like a... It was, an old, it was like they tried to do a sports app that was... Um, like an Instagram. It's like an Instagram, but just for sports athletes. I haven't heard of it. Maybe oh no, it's, it's gone. It's it's yeah. it's no longer. Sure, but they, they had a run at it. You pick the right ones, don't you? <laughs> did you get free shower? If you bought twenty showers, did you get five percent off the twenty? Oh, I got I got, I got well compensated. Yeah. But uh, looking in, back in, on in it, showers or no, no, in, in cash. And sure. he's made a friend for life with Phil. Yeah, jeez. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, serious. Let's go back to that. Was serious. No, just quickly Understood. back to Granny. Um, I want to. Did it actually happen where you? Told Goody you want to line up someone from the first centre bounce, and then you had a chance to get McCrow. Uh I wanted, I wanted to, I wanted to hit someone early. Um, it wasn't, I didn't, I, I envision it you hitting it long off the line, yeah. and kind of as a half, uh, half forward and a half back, a Western Bulldogs half back coming in, and and me running that I would. Um, him. Uh, yeah, and I was I was probably willing to come off come off the line of the ball as well to really <laughs> set the tone. Yeah, tone uh, setter. <laughs> and I had Demi Bird on top. And I had I had conversations with with Richo and um, and Goody like kind of this. I don't know. I should, should be saying this stuff. Fine. Like, like the be. suspension. Like you know, if I was to get a couple of weeks, like would you be ha- you know like. Would you consider that to be worth it? And this and that, and they were both like, no, <laughs> <laughs> like, no, we don't want you to like. I was going to say, if you said they were both yes, then I feel like it would be cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, Jake, but I'm glad they both said no. Well done, Richo, uh, you've held up. Yeah, that was a test, wasn't uh, it? <laughs> yeah, that was a test. Uh, I said, yeah, no, I was just, you know, Ready I'm not going to do it. But, uh, yeah, but it, it didn't work out that way. So I had that mindset going into it, and then the next best thing was um, the ball landed short. Yeah. And um, you had a chance to just hit, hit the next person. Yep. And hit them, you did. <laughs> and you haven't been suspended. No. Yeah, so it was a great win. result. I get to play, I get to and play we won the flag. So great result. Wins all around. around. <laughs> um, another question on the doco. There was a moment where you said uh, after your second game, you were telling people to stop crying. I, for the record, I wasn't. I didn't play. I, I don't wasn't think crying. I said that. I don't, I, I'm going to – look, uh, <laughs> it's your show. I don't want to step on your toes, but <laughs> I am – I'm gonna call a. I'm gonna send that upstairs. Yeah. Um, review that. I'm not sure he said <laughs> what, stop crying. What did he say? Oh, something along the lines of like, oh, you know, we we got to you know stop cl- being so selfish. And you, if, you've mixed two. You've mixed two. Okay. Don't After the first game, I said some stuff. Yeah. And we had pin that teammates crying the second game. Okay. But I didn't tell them to stop crying. Okay. <laughs> Are you? What I'm saying is, I'm not that much of a savage. <laughs> <laughs> Quit your crying. <laughs> Lost by 180. Start smiling, yeah. mate. <laughs> Um, what did you say, Vines? Can we clear it up? I feel like it's a little bit murky. Um, <sighs> Stop crying. No, no, no. I was, it was about like selfish, selfish play, really. Um, I felt like until we started trusting each other, we weren't really going to get get anywhere as a team. And I, I said that to a couple of individuals. Um, and, yeah. Didn't and go down too so what well. was your question, Max, off the back well, of that? Well, did you... Looking back on that now, are you naive 18-year-old? I think that's a no. Are you ahead of your time and you are reading the play? Because I dare say you don't know what takes to win a flag. Yeah. But I also know that you know that that didn't. Yeah. So the ability to speak in your second game, like I've, once again, I wasn't in the rooms. So what's the question? I'm asking him, is, did he think he made the right decision? Yeah. Did he make the right I decision? Think, I think what, 
what I meant and the reasons I had were hundred percent correct, but there's probably a way of doing it. Um, and I don't regret it. Yeah. But you know, is there a way you could get your point across more effectively without doing as much damage? And probably looking back on it, being a young eighteen year old, yeah. not knowing that having the tools and realizations I have now probably could have gone about it differently. I think we've all and we're all leaders. We've all found that out. There's a different way to lead different people. And there's also a different way to lead, even though you feel like this is the way. Um, and I've had to check myself a lot of times with different individuals and how I speak. And it's a great realisation that you have, that you've that, that didn't work maybe that technique at that time. Um, but it's still got its point across. Yeah. And yeah. Maybe, there's, maybe there's a time when someone's told enough things in a roundabout way, it doesn't work, and then you just got to put Correct. it on them. Yeah, Correct. stop um, crying. We're, in the middle. we're all sick of you crying. So <laughs> there was one time you saw there was people <laughs> crying, and we needed them to stop. Um, have you got? Have you got any more? Because you've nah. you've asked one. I asked a few. You've asked one. Are you sure about that? I would love to that's send your, it upstairs. That's your second bad call. We can I listen feel to like it you've back. asked one. I asked a couple. Your notebook has four words on it. That, that. Did you come in prepared, Max? You want to you want to maybe amend that statement, or should I show the camera my? My Did book. you come in prepared? Like prepared and may or may not have looked at your book for a little bit more inspiration. <laughs> but Jack, um, you've been terrific. And for those listening, um, go to Viney's Farm for great discounts on lamb. But um, thanks very much for coming in, mate. And um, unless you've got another question, Max, or you're just looking to bully me. I'm not. Uh, not necessarily to Jack. I had a couple of things I want to cover off sure. earlier in the show, but I think we fast-forwarded Gibby too much. He wasn't giving a lot. Um, we want to talk sup list. You fun fact: yeah. Zaharakis. We got Zaharakis on our sup list. Reese Conker could potentially get to the sup list somehow. I don't know if that's happened yet, but he's our PDM. Is that speculation? That's speculation. Sure. Um, I actually caught up with Matt Jones, friend of the podcast and friend of all ours, and I saw him last night for dinner. And I, I said, you should sign for Casey. You're an outside chance to get a game on the wing. Like, the Wingers Club. Yeah, he he is part of the Wingers Club. He was the uh, godfather of the Wingers Club. Seventy games on the wing. So if you like, if Max wants to, your brother yeah, wants to right. get a game of. AFL. Tell him to sign for Casey. Yeah, a couple okay. of COVIDs. He could yeah, tell someone. He would get suspended. He's, he he's like a double he judo could. champion now, something like that. Yeah, he does, does Brazilian jiu-jitsu and he's he would come kind off of the state line. champ. What was the first word you said then? Brazilian. Brazilian. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I thought he said he does jiu-jitsu. <laughs> <laughs> I, I may have, may have stumbled. <laughs> uh, Don't worry, Yeah, man. no, he's, he's a killer. He'd probably... Yeah, come off the line, get two weeks. He'd probably play, play one game and that'd, that'd be, be it. <laughs> Um, all right, well, that's all I want to get through. Well, that was an interesting way to not finish the podcast, but thanks again for coming on, Jack. Um, I think we lifted from last week, which is good. It was. What did you think of last week's? I know you're a big listener. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I thought this was the first week. Sure. Because uh, when you came to me, you said, we'll get you on for the opening. For the opening, opening, yeah. Yeah, we this had a is, soft launch. Right? A soft a launch, soft launch yeah. right. And well, because I don't listen, I just assume this was... Well, you'll yeah. learn that... Uh, in the podcast world, I understand you and Clint had a go and it failed miserably. But did you really? Maybe yeah. that's why. Well, yeah. when you were saying you're the pioneers of the podcast world, <laughs> yeah. that is false. Yeah. And well, I'll take credit because it was me and Clint showed us what not to do. Maybe <laughs> pretty much, and we did come second bottom that year, which I don't okay. think helped us on both podcast ratings and. Well, we were top of the ratings because we're the only one doing it. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's an interesting point. Well, that's all that matters. Thanks for coming on, mate. Well done, Max. Hey,